I'm here with Bella, who was just evicted from the Big Brother house. We were going to do this interview in Mandarin, but we decided that will be for the China version of Big Brother. Yes. All right, let's talk about the game in English. You were voted out <laughs> eight to two. Mm -hmm. Do you think they made the right choice in voting you out and not Jack? Obviously not. <laughs> right, but um, why? I mean, clearly Jack is a stronger player than me. I, I gave such valid points. Like, he is a huge threat in this game. He's already, he won the second HOH. He won the second power. I won nothing. So how do you explain like, eight to two, Bella's out, Jack is in there? Yeah, I mean, now it's just Jack is going to walk the dogs, and he's going to just get to the end. Final two, no doubt, no doubt in my mind, and Nick and Sam said it the best like if he does get to the final two they're gonna vote for him because he deserves it if at that point people allow jack to stay in the house he's such a threat they had a, a a chance to get him out and they didn't take it it's still early in the game let's be honest this is big brother things turn on a dime here yeah let's talk about cliff because it appeared as if you were working with him mm -hmm. and then he nominated you yeah who do you think he should have nominated um, I truly feel like he should have nominated Tommy or Sis just because they really wouldn't have gone home against Jack. I feel like Jack still would have stayed um, and he, they would have had to really do something wrong for either of them to go home. Do you think Cliff cost Cliff this game by nominating you and not sticking to his guns and trying to get Jack out of the house? I do say, I do have to say that Cliff did, I think, sacrifice his game, but he didn't sacrifice his integrity, and that's someone that speaks, it speaks a lot about his character and who he is as a person, so I would never hold that against him. Do you think he knows that? Do you think he knows, wow, that says, that speaks, if you're right, that speaks volumes for who Cliff is. I think Cliff is an amazing person, and I, I couldn't say enough good things about Cliff. I think he really fought. He like he got out of banishment. He was on the block twice. He came back from camp, come back, and then back to back got, got eight years each. Like, who is this man? You know what I mean? Like, I'm rooting for him. I hope you're all rooting for him. He's an amazing person. So, no, I'm not upset. I don't have any inkling of being resentful that I was on the block. What are your thoughts on Christy? Not the biggest fan. Like, I literally told Nick and Sam, like, do not trust her. Like, she's playing both sides. And we saw that she got closer and closer to Jack. And he, she clearly was going to choose Jack over, like, Nick or Sam. And I think that just kind of sucks. And at the end, I mean, she wasn't the nicest to me when I was on the block. So I'll leave it at that. But is she, putting that aside, do yeah. you think she's playing an incredible game? I do think she's playing an incredible game, but also she has a power and she just holds it above everyone's head. I think that if she didn't have that power, she would feel just as lost. So do you think it was smarter for her to let everyone know that she has this power? Oh yeah, I would have done the exact same thing. I would have told everyone that I had that power, well, obviously. Yeah, I was gonna say, well. <laughs> I guess that's my reputation. <laughs> How do you think Nick is going to do in the house without you? N not emotionally, we'll get to that yeah. afterwards, but I don't know, maybe you know, he's not going to be distracted by love. Mm -hmm. I, I hope that, I think Nick is just really trusting, so I hope that he's just really careful and he remembers, like, who kind of wasn't really that loyal to him and hopefully they can gain his trust and then he gives it out when they deserve it. I would hate for Nick to continue getting blindsided, but I think that his social game is strong enough that hopefully, um, I still think he has a chance, and as long as he doesn't get too upset, yeah, and I'm not there for a distraction anymore, so. He has a chance by getting in good with, I mean, do the numbers for me. He should be working with who right now? I mean, he should be working with the six, so that's going to be uh, Mickey, Holly, Jack, Sis, Tommy, and Christy. But the thing is, he also is really good with Cliff, Sam, Nicole. Um, I'm not sure about Jess and Kat. He'll have to kind of judge it by week, week by week, but I think he's in an okay spot just because he is part of this minority but is friends with the majority. So you think the majority of six would actually let him back in the fold if he kind of played his cards right? Oh no, they're definitely going to put him on the block. Okay, <laughs> let's be clear. <laughs> yeah, um, but you never know because if the majority feels threatened, they'll definitely like 
suck up to Nick and try to get in good with him. And if they feel threatened, they'll definitely try to get back in Nick's good graces. And hopefully he can use good judgment and just not um, be backed into a corner. Other than Nick, yeah. what is the best thing that you're going to take away from this experience being on Big Brother? Being on Big Brother is like the most incredible experience. You meet all these great people and you have nothing to do but really get to know each other and you really get to know yourself. So I think coming out of this, I, I really hope that I am a better person. I hope I'm able to see myself and just know more about myself and I'm really grateful for that. And do you have fond, at the end of the day, putting the game aside, do you have fond feelings for everyone that went through Big Brother yes. with you? In this we, regardless of what people say, like we will always be family because whether it was things we're not supposed to talk about, like sequester and production and things like that, and all the good times that we have and all the dinners that we had and all the memories, the cold showers, like sleeping in the same beds, like doing laundry together, tanning, getting sunburned, like talking about nonsense. It's just so, like, there's so many things that we have in, like now to remember each other by. It's a great experience. Last question. I said it on the live broadcast. 37 days ago, you and Nick were total strangers. You're saying, I love you to each other. Mm -hmm. you, you promised your mom that you I have did. called a tiger mom. <laughs> yeah. I'm not gonna get into showmance. She didn't want you to. No. You know there are cameras 24 seven. Are you ever going home to see your mother again? Oh, no. I, no. <laughs> I don't even, no. Don't even give me my phone. Like, I don't even wanna hear the missed calls or messages. I'm, are, are you seriously I'm, in trouble or is there a yes, chance? Yes, I'm seriously in trouble. <laughs> this is really bad. Is um, there any chance you might say, I like that boy and if you, if you get married, it was all worth it or am I just like fantasizing right now? Um, Y'all have to meet my mom. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good luck, Bella. <laughs> Tell her to call me, I'll talk to her. Yeah, uh, I'll talk to her in Mandarin. In Mandarin, maybe yeah. I will soothe her over. Well, good luck. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Yeah.